from analog. Hi, Jim. You've uh, created signal up here. You're five nine plus. Your digital. We are everywhere you want to be. This is the CQ Blind Pam's podcast. All right, good afternoon. This is November Echo 5 Lima. Sorry about the crappy audio, but I guess my little girl took my batteries from a wireless uh, microphone, so I've got to use this one I don't like very much. All right, we're going to do a podcast or a discussion on how to install Skywarn Plus if you do not have a clear node. This is just going on a regular uh, Pi three or pi four all-star note whichever you desire <clears throat> so hang with me and let's see what we can get done here Just home manual. Just home manual. all right first of all we're going to ssh into our node if you haven't listened to the podcast i tell you how to ssh ssh into your node but first we're going to go to google and i've got the uh github page marked for the installation of Windows M. Uh, Skywarn Plus. D. Let's see if we can get Windows there. M. Windows M. Come on now. D. DMRS repeater. There 16 we go. D. Google Chrome. Four eight We're gonna go to Google Chrome, and we're gonna go to the uh, GitHub for Skywarn Plus. Uh, let's see. S show all book as Sarah District sent at MSN S shopping cart 254 messed with uh, GitHub, they but it's crazy. But we want to go to the README file, so we're just going to head to the README file. README.md, that's the file we want to go to. Now, this first section in this file is just in case you want to install it on an ASL uh, node, which is, you know, ASL, a different version of Hamboy. Let's see if we can get to where we need to be here. Latest commit heading, history heading level 2, file metadata and key features heading level 2, comprehensive info, installation heading level 1. Right, there's installation. Now this first one we're same just going to go on by. Same list of 1, dependent install, list of I, deep list and active, tip 3 copy, list of 1, I, deep list and nest, beginning or environment, error, plan, time, this environment is a greater type of 3 install, plan. If you wish to install a non-dash DB and dash package, Python package, create a virtual menu, sure you have, plan. If you wish to install, it may be easiest to use pips and virtual environment, plan. C slash slash share slash dot slash Python, plan. No colon if you delete your Python, colon copy, but use these, apt install and zip Python 3, Python, use these commands instead when experiencing this on newer distros. Apt install, apt install, copy button, list of 1, items nesting level 1. Alright. Arch left parent, right parent. There's the arch ham void to in install, and it's going to tell us exactly what we need to do. Now, I've already done this on my repeater, so I'm not going to actually install it. I'm going to tell you what to do, though. All right, now we're there. We're going to uh, we're going to SSH into the node with PUTTY. And I'm still, I'm sorry again about the audio. I, I hate I'm having to use this microphone. We're going to SSH into the node. One nine two period one six eight period one zero period one nine zero specify plan plan free 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 ah, crap plan, plan two 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 enter two tty. And why didn't it let me? Okay. Hold that four two tty exit console enter yep. desktop folder view list view enter. We're gonna do it again. Two tty configuration dialog num lock off num lock on one nine two period one six eight period one period one nine zero specify plan. Two two two. Enter. Two T T Y. Log in as colon. There we go. We're gonna log in now. R O O T. Enter. Root one hundred nine. E file. Three nine four three seven. Enter. R I two dash three. We're gonna go down to option nine on this menu. X less. X less run. X less. X less. X less. X less run. Select the item greater less X less. Log out greater X. X less. X less. X less. X less run. Select the item greater. Starting shell prompt. Please type colon X less enter greater or press colon less control greater demons on the new or return to the admin menu. Left bracket root five zero seven two nine six D V S right bracket number C D space slash R O O T enter. Left bracket root five zero seven two nine six D V S right bracket number. I'm going to change to the root directory. He he doesn't say that, but when I'm installing something, that's always you know what I like to do, just unless it specifically says different. Skywarn plus slash readme.md. All right, we're back on the Skywarn install page. List of what I arch left parent Android right parent. List and level one. This is a good idea to first update your Android system using option one in the Android menu before installing the dependencies. Okay, update. 
your installation by using a one in the administration menu of Handvault after you, you know. Hello. SSHN. Sorry, I got the repeater hooked up where y'all can hear what what goes on. Hope you have a good day. Any five L seven three. Okay, now we'll get back Listen to this. Right. Now, to install this, you've got to follow these directions that he gives you. And this is how you install your... It's done in... Uh, oh, what is the name of that? I don't forget. Python. Yeah, it's done in Python. So you have to install these dependencies. The best way to do this is to get on your... You need to copy the line to the clipboard. All right, you want to copy that to the clipboard. Nothing selected. Well, selected. Then copy it to the clipboard. Copy selection to clipboard. Go back to Putty. And to paste in Putty is the right mouse button. Now I always do a uh, a jaws. To PC. Root jaws to PC. Root jaws to PC. Then hit your right mouse button. Right mouse button. Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Pac-Man. All right, and you heard it. It pasted it in there and hit enter. Click, and it's going to go through some stuff. Wait till you get back to the G. the prompt before you do that again. If it asks you any questions, uh, Space. uh, answer them according to you know what you want to do. But it's, they don't think it asks you but two questions. All right, you do that line, you go back over here, and you copy that line. Then you go back to Putty, then you paste it, and you hit Enter. And when that finishes, you uh, go down and do the other line, and so forth and so on. Left bracket, root five zero seven two nine six till the right bracket. Right, see, you're back at the the prompt. Backslash. So you go do another line, and so on and so forth. Sorry, I hit the back. I hit the backspace too long. And you go all through that list. Jones County, Mississippi repeater. Oh, let's see. Copy button. Now, I've tried doing it with the copy. It will copy the, the, all of them lines there at one time and paste them at one time. Don't do that. It makes a mess of things, and you'll have to uh, redo your stuff. So, again, you start up at the top after you update, and you follow each line one at a time. You cut or copy each line to the clipboard, go to put it, paste it, hit enter. When it finishes, go get the next line. Copy, paste, hit enter, and so forth. So you get to the copy button, and that's the end of those. Next thing, you're going to do the same thing. Two. Number two. Here's part number two. Download Skywarn Plus. Okay, you're going to download Skywarn Plus. Again, we want to select, copy, and paste. Download the latest release of Skywarn Plus from GitHub. CD slash slash local slash bin. All right, it's telling you to change directories in, in Putty. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a CD. Space. Slash U S R slash L O C A L slash B I N. Enter left bracket root five zero seven two nine six bin right bracket number. All right, now this is where will you go copy the line. I want plus slash read CD slash slash local slash bin. All right, there's the cop uh, the change directory. You want to copy this next line. Which at HTTPS colon slash slash github dot com slash mason ten thousand one hundred ninety eight slash Taiwan plus slash release slash latest slash download slash Taiwan plus dot zip. All right, you're gonna copy that. And then you're going to go back to Putty, and you're going to paste it, and you're going to hit Enter. And it's going to add it to that bin directory on your system. All right, when that finishes, okay, copy that line where it says unzip skywarmplus.zip and hit Enter. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to unzip this? And you tell it yes. Well, you'll go back to Putty, and then you'll... You will paste that line in Putty, hit Enter, and it's going to ask you, are you sure this is what you want to do? You tell it yes. All right, when that finishes, go back to the GitHub page and look at the next line. All right, RM means remove. Now, it wants you to remove 
that copy of Skywarn Zip. That is not necessary. That's just for space. I keep a copy there until I get it just like I want it. And then I'll go back in there and remove it. That way I won't have to go through the download process. I can just unzip it again and start over. All right, let's see what the uh, next line is. All right, see, there's the end of that one. Okay, now you go down to the next part, number three. Three. Configure permissions. All right, you have to configure your permissions. You have to type this in the PuTTY window. The scripts must be made executable. Use the smart command to change the file permissions colon. You have to make the scripts executable. So you you do this next line. CD Skyward Plus. You're going to move your directory to uh, Skyward Plus. Slash readme. Root of 507. CD Skyward Plus. Now this is... The way this is done, it's CD C -C space. space. S uh, do you put a slash? No, I don't think so. It's capital S. S K Y W A R N. Capital P. E L U S. Enter. Left bracket root five zero seven two nine six sky one plus right bracket number. Now you're in your sky one plus directory. This is where you're going to make all of your uh, configurations for sky one plus. Also manual. Sky one plus slash readme dot mdma middle dot mason ten thousand one hundred ninety eight slash sky one plus. We're going to see what else is left in this. Read me file. You have to type this in putty. Come on. You have to type chmod space plus x space capital S K Y. No, the S is the only thing that's capital. Capital S, the rest is in. Skywarn Plus, the S and the P are the only thing that's capital. You type C-H-M-O-D plus X. You'll space, then you put a plus and then an X, the letter X. And you'll space and put S, capital S-K-Y-W-A-R-N, capital P-L-U-S, period, P-Y. Now, you're not going to hear anything. It's not going to tell you anything. It's just going to carry you back to the prompt. But that made that file executable where the system will run it. Now let's see what else is in here. Alright, see there's the end of that particular part. Four. Number four. Edit configuration. Alright, it wants you to edit the configuration file. Skyward Plus was designed with customization in mind, making it possible to fit nearly any usage scenario you control at it. However, it can make a configuration seem a bit daunting. Be patient and when it's out, read the documentation. Right. And when impatient and you don't understand something, read the documentation. Now the file that we're gonna edit is um Skywarn plus directory and the file is root of five zero seven two nine six colon slash slash local slash min slash skyward plus configuration file left bracket root of five zero seven two nine skyward plus slash readme editor link config.yaml config.yaml file all right i'm gonna close this because I, I there's nothing really in here there's a lot of information that tells you how to do different things. Okay. Now I'm going to open up WinSCP because I just like it better to edit files with. It makes it really, really simple. Right, we're going to log into the repeater. Right, we're going to tab over to our, our, uh, our, our Pi screen. I was in the asterisk directory, but I'm going to get out of that. Uh, we're going to go to users. Local. And And then the Skywarn Plus directory. Why it says not selected, I don't know. But it's actually there. Now we're going to go down here to the config.yaml file. This is where all of your information goes for that tells Sky One Plus what it needs to do. Not selected sounds. Not selected config.yaml. Okay, there's root the root file. Root we're root going to edit root this root file. Root you root just root hit enter on it. Slash slash local slash slash sky one plus slash config.yaml dash zero six zero repeater dash editor dash minus cp. Okay. Now we're going to start at the top and work our way down. Number author colon Mason Nelson left number blank number is config file structure yaml. Please be sure to maintain the structure when editing. Number YAML is very picky about indentation. Use spaces, not tabs. Blank. Number, number, okay. number. And you heard what he said. This is a very structured file, and you have to really, really pay attention. Use spaces, not tabs. And he is correct. And I'll explain that to you in just a second. 
what well, we're, we're going to go down here to where it land skyward plus colon number title skyward plus operation entirely all right see so each little thing tells you what it's for each uh little entry enable colon true all right enable true that's telling it whether you want sky one plus to run or not now here we go with the structure land space this this is structured so when you hit enter it's going to carry you back to the beginning of your margin this is structured four spaces over and then you type in what you need to type see let's see space e n a n e space land space space well that one is only two spaces e. number title the name colon two so we we'll, let me uh that doesn't make sense space e space land I guess two will work because that's it's working. But I've always seen four. Enable true. That means we want, and all you would change there, if you didn't want it to run, you would just put false. Then it would not run. So let's go down to the next stanza. Enable colon true. Land. Number, number, number. Land. Asterisk colon. Number list of node numbers for broadcasting alerts. Multiple nodes are specified as a list. Number example colon. All right. It's asking you for what node number you want this to run on. Number, 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 note, dash five, zero, seven, two, nine, six. All right. It's asking you for your node number. Notice there's a dash before it. Six. Let me get back over here and see if this dash. one's. Space, space, land. Okay. This one's only at two and it's working like a charm. So I guess as long as it's formatted, uh, everything equal, it'll work. Because my one on my five, zero, seven, two, nine, one, my hub node is at four spaces. So if you start at the beginning of the line. Colon, land, space, one. Space. Two, and it's going to say dash. dash. There's a dash there, and a space, space, and then your node number. Five, zip, seven, two, nine, six. Okay, and that's it, and you can hit enter there. That's going to carry you down. Well, I don't know if I'd hit enter because it'd add another blank line. I don't think it would matter, but it's from my experience. I, I don't, only time I hit enter is to make sure I'm back at the beginning of the line. Land. All right, you got a blank line there. Here we go to our next stanza. Number optional silence to be added to the beginning of any audio files generated by Skyward Plus. NE5L, Jones County, Mississippi repeater. Uh, it's wanting optional silence. You can add this in in milliseconds, and it, it really does good if you're on a repeater. If you have a repeater link or several repeater links together, you want to broadcast on because sometimes the repeater will key up and cut off the front of the uh, announcement. But just for a regular home user, there's not really any need to put anything. I'd leave it like it is. Number is useful for radio systems that require additional time to key up, such as RF links. Number silence is specified in milliseconds. Audio delay colon zero. Okay. Audio delay there is zero. So uh, that's fine because it only runs. I don't have it going out to all my repeaters just on my, my repeater itself. I don't have it going out to my links. Let's see what's in the next line. Land. Number, number, number. Land. Alerted colon. Alerting. All right. Well, now we're fixing to get into the county codes that you have to put in to for it to pull from the National Weather Service. Number specify the county codes for which you want to pull weather data. Number find your county codes at https colon slash slash alerts.weather.gov slash. Number make sure to use county codes only, not zone codes. Otherwise, you might miss out on alerts. Number example colon. All right. There's an example here, but I'm going to go on down number, to uh, number, num, num, number, mine. Number you can manage. Number, 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 exam, number, count, number, dash, number, dash, county code, dash, MSC, zero, six, okay, seven, see, code, this one is done the same way. Six. Let me get back over here to. Space. Space. Land. And we're back at the beginning of the line. We got two spaces. Space. space. Dash. All right, and you have a dash. And you have a space. Space. Then you're going to have the county code. Now, in this same directory, there is a listing of all the county codes for the United States. Mine is MS. C, Mississippi code, and then it's got two numbers. M, S, C. The numbers are in, all, the letters are in all caps. Always remember that. So it's MSC. Zero, six, seven. All right, that's my county code for Jones County, Mississippi. Remember, two spaces, a dash, a space, and then your county code. And there is a file in this directory that has all the county codes for the United States. You'll just have to browse through it and find your particular county in a particular state. All right. Let's see. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four counties in here. County code, MSC 067, colon, Jones, all right. 
Now, this is another thing that you can do. When you finish your county code, you can put a colon, space, and the name of your county or whatever you want it to say in a WAV file. There's also a uh, program script in this directory that will create those files for you, those WAV files. They have to be put in the sounds directory, which is already in this same Sky One Plus directory. I don't use that because I don't like the uh, text-to-speech that he uses, so I use my own. Let's see. Forest County, that's the one south of me. Wayne County is directly to the east. Lamar is kind of southeast of me. That's all I have in there because that's people can hear my repeater in those four counties, so that's why I've got it in there. All right, now we go to another stanza. Number enable instant voice announcement when new weather alerts are issued. Enable voice announcement when weather alerts are issued. Say alert, call the crew. All right, we want it to do that. So you again, you have a space, space, and then Number, uh, say alert, call the crew. Say alert, and then space, true. If you didn't want that, you would change that to false. Land. Number enable say alert, quote, say quote, any alerts in the list of affected counties has changed in addition to new alerts. All right, all that's saying is if you want it to announce everything. If you want it to announce the alerts that's changed in any county, or you want it to say uh, all the alerts. Number only applies if more than one county code is specified and county ideas have been set up. All right, so you only have to have, you have to have more than one county for that one to work, which that's common sense, so. Say alerts change, call true. All right, see, mine does that, so I've got it at true. If you wanted it not to do that, you would put it at false. Land. Number when the change is detected, make say alerts say all of the currently active alerts, not just newly detected one left parent is right parent. You can have it say only the new alerts, or you can have it say all the alerts that are effective at that particular time. And again, it's going to be a true or false. Say alert all colon true. All right. Say alert all colon true. If you didn't want it, you'd change it to false. Land. Number specify a WAV file with the sound slash alerts directory to use as the alert sound effect. All right. Here you can specify a WAV file in the sounds directory that you want it to play before it gives you your weather alerts that, that's handy sometimes in case somebody's going down the road or something and uh they can't hear the first of the alert so put a little sound there a little note look you're finna get a weather alert alert sound colon dot uh, and this it's also a sounds directory it's got a lot of sounds in it so you can just go through there and find the ones you want or you can make your own Land. Number specify a file with the root of the sounds directory to be appended to the end of the alert message. All right. There you can put a sound at the end of the alert message to let people know it's over or just because you can. That's why I do it. Say alert suffix colon. I don't have anything there, which is fine. See, it just says say alerts colon. Whenever you're going to do a sound file, you need a colon at the end of your uh, thing there. Space and then put your uh, WAV file. Land. Number enable instant voice announcement when weather alerts are cleared. This one tells you enable voice announcement when all weather alerts are cleared. That's very handy to have. And again, say all clear, colon, true. That's true or false. If you want it not to work, you put false. Land. Number specify the WAV file with a sound slash alerts directory to use as the all clear sound effect. All right, here's a sound file that you can put in your directory for the all clear sound, which I do have that to let people know, look, it, it, it's over with. All clear sound colon triangles dot wav. And then there's the the file name. Everything here is in wav, and you do put the extension wav, not like in Hamvoit. You uh, do not use extensions in Hamvoit. Land. Number specify wav file with the root of the sounds directory to be appended to the end of the all clear message. There again, you can add a, a file name at the end of the all clear message. Say all clear suffix colon. Number specify wav file with the sound slash alerts directory to use as the alert separator sound effect. Uh, this one can a sound that you can put in between each alert, like tornado warning, bing bong, thunderstorm warning, boop beep. You can make that, you know, anything you want it to be. Alert separator, colon, wood block, wav. Land. Let's go on to our next one. Number enable audio tag in the alert having quote multiples, quote if there is more than one unique instance of that alert type. Okay, this one is if you've got th some counties in there, like I do, I've got four. It will tell you if the same warning is in effect for multiple counties and what counties it is enabled for or it is issued for if it if its county is not in that alert it will not say the county number of enabled and there are two x different severe thunderstorm warnings in your area the audio will be colon quote severe thunderstorm warning with multiples quote with multiples colon true all right that is true if you don't want it you can change it to false 
Land. Number limit the maximum number of alerts to process in case of multiple alerts. All right, here you can limit your number of alerts to how many you want it to give you. Uh, we'll get into that again in just a second because that that uh, is a little bit farther down the way you can uh, edit that. So numbers by word plus fetches all alerts orders them by severity and processes only the most severe alerts where it is the max alerts value. Right, and if you put ten there, it's only going to pull the first ten alerts. If you put twelve, it's going to pull twelve. Max alerts calling ninety nine. And I just left it at ninety nine. Let's go to the next stanza. Number specified alternative path to the directory where sound files are located. That's if you want to change your directory where your sound files are actually located. Number default is by sounds path colon slash slash local slash min slash by one plus slash sounds. Land. Here, go on to our next one. Number time type configuration. Now, this gets confusing for a lot of people. It's time type configuration. Number. Number is setting determines the timing reference for issuing weather alerts. It's the time for issuing weather alerts. Now, onset and effective are your choices. Onset means it's going to give you the alert when it happens, when it is it's, it's running. Onset means it will give you, I, I mean, effect. Let's see. Let me number get down here. Number is means the system. Number, for example, even though a quote heat advisory quote can be forecasted accurately a day or two in advance. Yeah. Number, 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 number. number Let's input, see what number, mine is. Number mine. using onset. Time type colon onset. All right, onset. That means it's going to give it to me when it's issued. Now, effective will give you... Like he said, if there's a heat advisory schedule for three or four days out, it's going to let you know that. Look, we're going to have a heat advisory on such and such a day for so many days. I haven't really found a particular reason to use that, but, you know, it may be good if we have a, a hurricane or something like that, let people know, look, it's coming. But remember, onset is it's only going to come across when the actual NWS issues the warning or the watch. Land. Number, number, number. Land. Block and colon. All right, here we get into the blocking part of it. You can specify in this stanza the alerts that you do not want to hear. Like if you don't want to hear heat advisory, if you don't want to hear wind advisory, whatever alert that you do not want to hear, you can specify in this directory. And honestly, me explaining this file to you is not going to do much good till you get your hands on it or your ears on it or your eyes on it and see it. You'll know the way he wants it formatted and you'll know how to format the blocking of the alerts that you do not want to hear. Number list of globally blocked events. These alerts are ignored across the entire Skyward Plus operation. Number use a case match sensitive list. Wild parts can be used. Number example colon. Number global blocked events colon. Number dash blood watch. Number dash apostrophe star statement. Number dash apostrophe star advisory. Global blocked events colon. Land. All right. See, they did not want to hear those alerts, so they put them in the list there. <clears throat> Let's see what's next. Number list of events blocked from the announcement received. These alerts will still be added to the tail message. All right. Now, this one, they won't announce them when they're received, but it will add them to the tail message. That's just, I guess he did that because he could. And it works the same exact way as the blocked events does. You have to add it to the list. Number land. Number list of events blocked from being added to the tail message. These alerts will still be announced when received. All right. See, so you add them to the, uh, uh, you can have, a, it's just the opposite. You can have it announced when it's received, but it will not be added to the tail message. And for those that do not know what a tail message is, you can set an uh, announcement to be played every so often. Every 10 minutes, every 5 minutes, every 1 minute. Wherever you want it, however you want it to be played, it will play that. And that does not go by clock, or your clock on the uh, wall time. That goes by repeater key up time. So if you want it played every 10 minutes, it's only going to play at every 10 minutes repeater time, repeater talk time. Number use a case sensitive list. Land. Number, number, right. number. Here we go with another one. Land. Tail message colon. All right, this is your tail message. This is how you set up those tail messages and they are nice to have especially if you've got a uh, a tornado watch that you know if you put it in a tail message say announce every 10 minutes it's going to say tornado watch for such and such every 10 minutes and remind people and let people know that that's what's going on number land. number enable slash disable automatic tail message all right you can disable or enable the tail message here if you don't want tail message you can put false if you want the tail message you can put true enable colon true Land. Number specified while filing the root of the sounds directory to be appended to the end of the tail message. 
All right, there we go with the sound files again. You can put one in there at the end of the tail message to be broadcast. Tail message, blank. Number enabled to add county indicators to the tail message. All right, and here you can enable the county, just like we did up top, Jones, Wayne, Forrest, and Clark. You can add that to the tail message, or you don't have to. You know, whichever, your preference. Num number, blank. Number specified alternative path and file name for saving the tail message. <clears throat> All right, it already has a path there, but you can specify a different path if, if you so desire. Number, tail, blank. Number, 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 blank. Courtesy tones, colon. Here you can enable or disable courtesy tones for different events. You can have a certain courtesy tone for when there is no weather alerts issued. And then if you want a different courtesy tone for when there is active weather, you can specify that. My suggestion on that would be to read this file and read his help file because it's pretty in-depth. You have to go in your rpt.comp file and change some things. And I think that would be beyond the scope of this uh, little talk here to explain that. Number, number enable slash disable automatic courtesy tones. So you can enable or disable. Enable colon false. Uh, mine is not enabled. Blank. Number specified alternative directory where tone files are located. All right, so you can specify your directory, which, like I said, I would read the instructions on that. It would take me a little bit to explain to you exactly how to do that. I don't think it's we've got the time or I could explain it well enough for you to understand it. Number, tone, dirt, blank. Number, define the sound files for courtesy tones. So you have to define the sound oh, files. Number, blank. Number, audio files to feed asterisk CT2 and quote normal quote mode. See, that's, C, it's, uh, double CT colon start to start you off. See, that's blank. how it's. Number, RPT, CT1, quote. Number, RP, blank. Number to find the alerts that trigger the number use a case match sensitive list. One okay, and here, the the quote, double, next, quote, tone. so you can define the alerts that trigger that particular courtesy tone, tornado warning, thunder, severe thunderstorm warning, and it will swap to that courtesy tone while that event is going on, and it'll swap back when it's not. And he's got a long that's list that's here that's of uh, different courtesy that's tones or different that's files that's that. Will trigger that tone. And it also has the same thing, just like it does courtesy tone. It can change IDs. I really don't know why you would want to do that, but it's possible you can change an ID for weather events, just like you would change courtesy tones. Let's see. Get Get past this because it's just the same as doing a courtesy tone. So he's got a list here already made up for you. And if you don't want it that way, you can always comment it out with a semicolon. All right, Sky Describe. Sky Describe is a script that's built into this program that you have to go to. Uh, Voicerous.org, V-O-I-C-E-R-S-S dot O-R-G, sign up, get you an API key, and copy that. Keep that somewhere because you have to put it in a file. And when you can set this up as if you get a tornado warning, it will automatically trigger the Sky Describe script, and it will read the warning, watch, whatever, over the air. So, number, number, voice RSS, number, make sure, land. Number API key for voicerss.org. There's where you put your API key for voices.org. API key colon 595 CF69 to 24,418,900 CFC 0590965E9. That's a long key, so keep up with it. Blank. Number voice RSS language code. And it gives you the codes here for the languages, and you can read all about that on voices.org. It'll tell you the different codes for the different languages, speech, speech rate. Language. Blank. Number voice RSS speech rate. Minus 10. Speech. Blank. Number voice RSS voice profile. See voice RSS.org slash RP slash for more. Voice code blank. Number maximum number of words to be spoken by Sky Describe. All right. This one's kind of important. It's maximum number of words to be spoken by Sky Describe. Play around with that. Um, I think mine set at 150 or 200. And that usually lets it read the whole entire bulletin. If you cut it too short, you're going to miss the bulletin. If you cut it too long, it's going to uh, people going to get mad at you. Because it just runs, 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 runs. So just play around with that. Number, cost, number, tilde, one, one, blank. Number, 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 blank. Alert script, colon. Alert script. Number, alert script allows you to map your DTMF commands to be executed when the weather alert is detected. So you can map your scripts to DTMF or alerts when 
certain alerts are, are issued and it will do certain things it will do whatever you tell it to do it's not hard to figure out and learn how to do seems a little daunting to start with but it's really not uh, again go to github and read those instructions they're very detailed hello and Second he tells you exactly how to do that at monday evenings at 7 30. number completely enabled slash disable alert good evening the time is 7 p.m Weather. and here Cloudy. You can uh, hurry up. And here you out. can uh, Jones County, Mississippi repeater. You can disable or enable the script. You do not have to have it. It's true or false. Enable, colon, true. See, mine's true because I've got it all set up. Land. Colon. And this is where it explains to you and where you type all of your mappings for your different things that uh you want it to do and, and, and like i say he, he lays all that out in great detail i can honestly say he did a really good job writing the uh manual and that is about it i was going to do one thing i'm gonna go all the way to the bottom, bottom of the file land. and we'll go page, page up, up page up land. and uh number 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 land push over colon all right, pushover. I forgot about pushover. That is an app that you can get on your telephone, and it will actually send you the alerts that are going, the warnings and the watches. I don't care for it. A lot of people do. Again, he's got really detailed instructions on how to do that Number provide your user key in the uh, Number provide the API instructions. Number enable verbose messaging. All right, verbose messaging, you can enable that, and if you have a problem, it will tell you exactly what the problem is in the PUTTY screen. Uh, you can run over there and run the Skywarn Plus script yourself. You know, slash USR, slash local, slash bin, slash Skywarn Plus, slash Skywarn Plus dot pi. And if there's an error after you click enter, you'll you'll see it there on the screen or you'll hear it. And it will tell you exactly where your configuration problem is. That's very good to have. Debug calling false. And uh, just turn that back to false when you get it working like it should. Land. Number, number, number. Land. Logging colon. Logging, that's up to you how much logs you want it to keep. Number configuration for login. Land. Number enable for post login. Debug colon false. Land. Number specified alternative log file path. Okay, log. I specify number, number, number. a log Land. file path. Dev colon. Number configuration for development and testing. Land. Number delete cache data on startup. All right, delete cache data on startup. Now, that's really good to do if stuff doesn't work right. You can go in there and delete cache data on startup, and it'll start back with a clean slate. Uh, I don't have that because mine's working great right now. Now here's the one that I was going to show you. Land number specified the TMP directory. Land number right alert title slash TMP slash auto. So, land number enable test alert injection instead of calling the NWS API by setting injection. Okay. Through. Now if you want to test yours and make sure that yours is land. working okay. Number inject colon false. Inject colon false. What it's going to do is it's going to go pull. And make sure your sound files and all are working like you want to. But make sure if you're on a repeater to tell folks that uh, Number enable test alert. Inject colon false. Land. that it's only a test. Space. Let's get over here. T colon space F A L S E L F. I'm going to put true. T R U E. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you do that. And what is what it what mine sounds like anyway. Any five L? Any five L? This is only going to be this a test. This is only going to be a test. November Echo five L. November Echo five L. Testing, on testing some stuff on the repeater. Some stuff on the repeater. Okay, now you just close that file. Alt F four. Confirm. Yes button. Alt plus Y. Enter. Skywarn plus dash zero six zero repeater dash one SCP. List view not selected. Conflict dot yam. Over colon root. Group colon root. X colon dot yam. Type colon Y A M L five. Right colon R W dash R dash. Now when it loads, it's going to only be a test, but it'll show you that it's working. Uh, it's going to load here in just a second. Or it should anyway. It's supposed to. Or you could go to Putty and run it yourself. Let's see if it's going to do what it's supposed to. I don't forget how many minutes I've got this set up on Cron to check. But, uh. How are you working on those six? Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Oh, let me just go to Putty. Okay, okay. 
Let's just do this. Three, three, two, one, one, two, period, one, six, eight, period, one, period, one, nine, zero. Specify the land, land. Two, two, two. Enter desktop folder view list view. Forty dot eighteen of eighteen. Two T T Y login is colon. R O O T. Enter root one hundred and eight. L. Three nine four three seven. Enter. Because it should pay the test alerts. Excellent. 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 Enter. Let's see where we're at. Please type colon exit. Left bracket root five zero seven two nine six D B S right bracket number. C D space slash U S R slash L O C A L slash D I N slash S K Y W A R N P L U S Enter left bracket root five zero seven two nine six. Now we're just gonna do. Period slash S K Y W A R N P L U S P Y. Now and we're gonna hit enter. Let's see if it gives us our test. Enter. Two zero two four dash zero three dash zero seven nineteen oh five thirty seven thousand six hundred thirty three. Info added colon tornado warning for left bracket Jones right bracket. Two zero two four dash zero three dash zero seven nineteen oh five thirty seven thousand six hundred thirty four. Info added colon severe thunderstorm warning for left bracket. Two zero two four dash zero three dash zero seven nineteen oh five thirty seven thousand six hundred thirty four. Info added colon tornado warning for left bracket. Forest wind right bracket. Two zero two four. Well, Jaws was talking. Here we go. For tornado warning. This alert was manually injected as a test. See, that's telling you what the warning would be. Updated local information. Tornado warning. Tornado warning. Tornado warning. Jones County. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Lamar County. Jones County, Forest County. Tornado Watch. Forest County, Wayne County. Okay, see, it did the the test, so you know all of your files are working. Uh, let me get over here and stop this. You have to go back into your file. Oh, put a number back here. Turn my num lock off. I always do that. Let's see. Go back up to inject. Let's go back to inject. Oh, come on. Don't let it do it again. Now we're going to put false. F A L S E. And we're going to close that file. Yes. Multi select county ID ten dot five three of thirteen. Conflict again. Conflict again. Not select conflict again. Over colon root. Through colon root. Text colon again. Type colon YAML file. Now it's not going to do that anymore because I changed it back to uh to false. So it'll run the normal. We're going to run the normal. Five zero seven two nine six colon slash slash local slash. Oh. I want plus dash zip. Jaws home manual. Root five zero seven two nine six. Root five zero. Oh come on. Plus dash zip. Jaws home manual. Jaws home. I hate when Jaws does that. Uh, we're going to run it again, and this is what it should do. If you start this thing and it start, it doesn't start with a date, you've got some configuration files wrong. The National Weather Service has cleared all alerts for this area. See, that's what you'll get on your clear. Now, if there's no warning, started with a date. All right, there you go. Like I said, just pay attention to his instructions. He's very good. He's very detailed about it. I hope this has not been boring. And if it is, all I can tell you is hit the delete button or uh, turn your hearing aids off or throw the phone up, upside the wall. I appreciate everyone sticking with me. I hope this was some help. If you need any more information, as always, I'm good on QRZ or we'll catch you on the radio or there's several people that know how to get in touch with me. If I can help, do not be afraid to ask. Take care, everyone. Have a blessed week. This is November Echo 5 Lima. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and visit www.blindhams.com.